pun janganlah buka-buka macam tu tak malu ke we know what they are doing right they were so cocky they were so cocky they thought they would be able to bulldoze through these elections until they began to hear the suara rakyat at all the dramas now they are shitting bricks the end is shitting bricks They're going to try to cheat. They're going to try to cheat wholesale. I've been getting emails and SMSs all of today with all kinds of reports. I don't want to bore you with the detail. They are being investigated. We are investigating these. We need to do our part. We need to be the eyes and the ears on polling day. All right? Wherever you're voting, nowadays practically every handphone has camera mode. All right. Wherever you're voting, you may see buses coming in. You might see buses coming in. Take a picture. All right. And on my blog, there's a email address specially dedicated to catch these cheaters and these fraudsters. All right. We have to defend our electoral process. BN isn't going to. All right. This is, they say, the fox in the reban ayam. Bien. Kita mau harapkan dia. Harapkan, harap padi, harapkan paga, paga makan padi. Huh? So we can't depend on them. We've got to watch our election, our election process. We've got to protect it. Um, it would be good, it would be good if those who happen to come on these evidences will feel brave enough to make your, your police reports, uh, maybe that's asking a lot, but uh, this is your electoral process, if, you're, if, if you are not prepared to defend it, then who's going to defend it? I'm a lawyer, we are trying to put together a team of lawyers who will take election, election petitions after the election, um, but you are going to have to do your part. Without the evidence, we can't do anything. All right. Now, um, through my blog, through my blog today, today I have made a pledge to my country. Have you all heard of Barisan Rakyat? Yeah. Ada dengar pasal Barisan Rakyat? Yeah. People's Declaration. Have you all heard of the People's Declaration? Yeah. All right. For the benefit of those who perhaps have not heard of it. On the 4th of February, my friends and I, we had worked for about two months drafting two documents. One called the People's Voice, the other called the People's Declaration. Um, I, I feel it's, it's a very good document for nation building. And I think the document addresses all of the major problems that we have in this country today. We launched it on the 4th. On the 6th, we send copies of these documents to all the political parties, including BN. All the BN component parties were sent these documents with an invitation to accept, endorse, and to join us, the rakyat, in setting the country right. From the 6th to the 16th of February, we never heard from a single BN component party. DAP endorsed the document. PKR endorsed the document. PAS endorsed the document. NDP, PSM, and PASO. Six political parties endorsed this document. Now, on the 23rd of February, we had the official launch in KL, and these parties joined us and once again reconfirmed that they were endorsing the document and they would work with us on this document. And in return for that endorsement, my friends and I, on behalf of all of us, on behalf of every Anak Bangsa Malaysia, we embraced those six parties as our Barisan Harapan Rakyat. Now, this
this morning, I made a pledge to my fellow Glacians. If you put a Barisan Raya in Parliament, and in this case it means Charles Santiago, and if within the Klang, the Klang constituency, the State Assemblymen are all Barisan Raya candidates, I pledge to do this. I will set up a representative watch committee. Now that representative watch committee will work and liaise with your elected representatives. And it will continue to report back to you, the voters, on a quarterly basis. So you are kept informed of what your rep is doing. Your rep, in turn, is required to, and expected to cooperate with the committee to inform the, the, rep, the committee of legislation that is intended, policy that is being formulated, and we hope that through this committee, what Charles said, people are the boss, that the rep will not forget that, because we then become the link between the rep and the rakyat. Alright? Now this is my pledge to you. Give, give your vote to the Barisan Rakyat candidates, and I will fulfill my promise, I will set up this committee, so that you continue to be the boss. Now, uh, I'm actually going to have to run. People, 8th of March. I've been to so many dramas in previous in previous elections. We have crowds at dramas, huge crowds, while the BN drama, nobody goes. But when the election result comes out, it's not reflected. Now, don't do this to yourselves. If you don't make the... Make the Take the opportunity now to vote for change. You deserve the rubbish that is coming to you again with another BN government. It's up to you. Yeah. All right? I've been hearing this over the last one week at Ramas. And I've been scolding the, the candidates, the opposition candidates. They are saying, deny beyond the two-third majority. We must deny beyond the two-third majority. I say, what's wrong with you all? I don't want to just deny beyond the two-third majority. I say, we the riot form the next government. We form the next government. Our country, we govern. My friends, I have to run. It's been great meeting you all this evening. Makal Sakti, Makal Sakti, Makal Sakti. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saudara Haris Ibrahim. He is one of the famous lawyers and a blogger also. Okay, the next speaker, without further delay, I call Mr.